Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix F1 23 launching issues and freezing and black screen. This is a complete tutorial for you. I really hope guys you're going to find this tutorial valuable. I really hope this video is going to help you. Make sure you leave your results in the comment section. I'm really curious to um, to read if, you are, if this video helped you and what are the results. If uh, this story helped you to solve this issue, if not, let me know, guys. Let me know. Tell me in the comment section that this uh, that didn't work. The methods I provide you with, I showed you. I uh, met the methods I explained. I used in this video didn't work. Let me know in the comment section. And if it didn't work, as I said, I'll create maybe a part two. I'll look for other ways to help you fix uh, solve these launching issues. And if it worked, guys, make sure you. Uh, you leave a like and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. So now let's jump right into this video Head over to Windows updates because usually this is to fix crashes If you just forgot to update your windows make sure you update your windows and then we also have to head over advanced options and then optional Updates and here if there's an available driver Usually this list is pretty huge at least for me every time I check or it's been a it was a very long time since I checked this list and it was very huge for me. So all I had to do is just to check all the boxes here, all the drivers and just download and install. That's what you have to do. Now the next method. Here you have to install the latest drivers for your computer. If you have a GeForce experience, you need you have a GPU, a Nvidia GPU. Then what you can do is to download GeForce the experience and click on check for updates. And if there's an available driver, um, click on download here. You should see the option here to download. Now, once you've done that, you have the latest drivers. Now for NVIDIA, make sure if you have an AMD card to install the latest driver. Also, I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Make sure you check the description of this video. And now, very important is for any system, make sure you install Microsoft Visual C++. This is what you need to install pretty much any, any game, right? You need this to install. So make sure you install this and open. And now, let's click on install. I already have it on my computer. Now, we have to have to install DirectX and user runtime. Click on download. Click on save. Click on this and install this as well. DirectX. Click on accept. And... Click on next, all right? And for Intel as well, same thing, or do the same step or the same uh, idea. You just have to install the latest drivers. You can also go to Device Manager and uh, click on Display Adapters, click on Update Driver and search automatically for drivers. And you can also click on here and click Change, install the latest updates. And now the next method we also have to add is game. We are working with FIFA 19 and if it's not working you have to make sure Windows is using our our graphic our GPU alright so in this case make sure you locate FIFA here and then click on FIFA 23 and click on high performance and if you can't locate in this list FIFA you have to add from browse just go exactly where you have located FIFA click add the, the FIFA and then as I said make sure you select high performance now the next step we have to go to power Reddit player plan Click on change advanced power plan. Click on processor and make sure here is set to 100% and 100% apply and OK. Now the next method, make sure you go to CMD and here in problems. And here make sure you enter this command. Make sure you run command prompt as a mini share and click on enter. All right. As you, as you can see, will not work. This what the what message will give you if you don't use as a, if you don't run so much command prompt as administrator run as administrator and now this command will work beginning system scan so make sure you wait for the process to complete that's very important to wait for the entire process to complete and now wait uh sorry right press on your keyboard windows logo plus r and here write ms config and go to boot go to advanced options and here a number of processors make sure you check this box and select the uh, the higher numbers of processors you have, the less number here you see, click check on that box and click on uh, OK, apply and OK. Also open open task manager and here make sure you in uh, you go to 
you got to start up apps and in disable all the apps that you know don't need and are running in the background also go to performance sorry go to processors go to the game fifa and here actually you can go also to details you can locate fifa here you can right click on fifa and select high because this will prioritize this will windows will prioritize a game if you set on high priority all right and that's very important to fix this problem all right i really hope guys this video helped you so make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you now on the next